Hello and welcome to part two of the fitting video for the 90 heavy duty bar set and hood. So in the first video we showed you how to fit the bar set, the overdoor drain channels and the screen rail. And in this video we're going to be fitting the hood. So the easiest way of doing this is if you unpack your hood and lay it on the bonnet of the vehicle. You may want to put something down on the bonnet just to protect your paintwork. And you notice at the front of the hood, there is a plastic strip that's sewn inside, um, sort of a 20, 25 mil wide plastic strip. And that goes into the slot in the front of the screen rail. So basically what you want to be doing is you, you want the hood inside out to start with. So the D-rings facing upwards and the plastic strip facing towards the screen. Now uh, you can do this on your own or it can be easier with two people. But what you want to do is carefully lift the hood up and slot that edge into the front of the screen rail. Now at this stage what you want to do is just make sure you've got an even amount of material at this corner on both sides so that the hood is central. Once you're happy with that, gently lift the hood up and pull it up over the vehicle and then unroll it across the roof. And once you get to the back, you can pull the rear curtain over and drop the side curtains down. Once we've got the hood loosely draped over the vehicle, the first thing to do is actually to tension it from the front. So to do that, in the inside of the vehicle, you'll see by the front hoop, there are some straps. And you wanna pull those so they start from behind the front hoop and pull them forward. And you'll see there's a hook on the end, which you wanna hook underneath the, the front of the screen. And in the middle is a cam buckle. And you can pull on that to tension strap which in turn will tension the roof canvas so you want to do that on both sides and make sure you've got plenty of tension in them okay so once those two straps are hooked onto the windscreen and pulled, tightened up we then go to the back of the vehicle and we basically do the same process with the rear straps so you'll see on behind the rear curtain, you have two webbings and they need to come over the top of the bar and down. And you've got a hook on the end, which will clip onto the, the underside of the body capping. And then again, using the cam buckle in the middle, pull up on the strap to tension the roof and pull all the slack in the canvas towards the rear of the vehicle. You want to do that equally on both sides. So once you've got those two tensioned, you can then come back to the front. You see you have three D-rings on each side. Now they go through the slots in the overdoor drain channels. So just plug those through. Once you've got them on the inside of the vehicle, you then clip them up. Okay. And then you want to tuck the hood into the drain channel on the top and also tuck the hood into the side of the drain channels. And you've got a little wrap and a webbing that goes in between the bar and the side of the door drain channel. And tuck the hood inside, all the way down. That should pull in snugly and give you a nice neat finish all the way around the door. 
So the wrap that comes through between the bar and the side of door drain channel, that strap goes into a buckle on the inside quarter of the hood. So just thread that through. Do that on the same on both sides and make sure you've got all your D-rings hooked up into position. Okay, so now we've got the hood basically fitted into position. Um, for those of you who haven't got the side of body rope hooks, which are the little tabs that go along here, um, we'll show you the easiest way of marking those and positioning them. So if you look at the underside of the hood curtain, you'll see that the, the rope loops in and out and you want to position the rope cleats so that they line up with the middle of where the rope's showing. So you get one, two, three positions. See the first loop goes onto the tag at the end. So what we'll do is we'll bring the hood down and if you've either put some masking tape on the side of the vehicle or with a, um, some chalk you can mark a line to show where the centre of each rope is. Just mark the center line of the rope. Okay, so once you mark three positions, you can then just fold the curtain up out of the way. So the rope hooks fit just up against the underside of the body capping and you want to put them so that they basically sit central over, over your lines that you've just marked. So we've pre-drilled pre a top hole in the bracket. We'll mark the position there for the first one. So once you've marked the hole using a centre punch and a hammer, just centre the hole. So once you've centre punched the hole, use a 5 mil drill, making sure you're wearing your safety glasses. Just carefully drill a hole through the side of the vehicle. So using the rivets from the kit, pop that into the hole we've just drilled and then using rivet gun We'll secure that one in place. Making sure you've got it perfectly straight. Okay. So once we've got one rivet held in place, we can now add two more rivets to stop the cleat twisting. So we'll punch two more holes just underneath just to make a triangular pattern. And again drill those two holes with a five mil drill. And make sure you're wearing the safety glasses. rivet that into position. Okay, and then you want to repeat that process for the other two on this side and the same again on the other side of the vehicle. So with all the cleats positioned, you can then drop the curtain back down and start by hooking the rope 
at the front end of the vehicle onto the little tab and then put the ropes onto the rope cleats along the side of the vehicle. And then at the end, just gently pull the rope through and secure it onto the U-shaped rope hook at the back. Just do that, same thing on both sides. Uh, same on the other side. Just hook the rope down the side and pull the rope tight and secure on the rope hook. Okay, so now we've got the rear curtain in position, we'll need to mark and fit the rope hooks onto your tailgate if you haven't already got them. So to do that, if you're on the rear curtain you'll see the, the rope loops from front to back and the rope hooks wants to line up with the smaller loop on the inner face. So you have three of those, one here, one in the middle and then one at the other side. So as we did on the side, pull the curtain square so it's central around the vehicle. Mark the three positions and then drill and fit the three rope hooks onto the back. Okay, so once you've got your three hooks fitted on the rear, rear door, then pull the curtain down. And we'll start by threading the rope. So you've got a rope that runs across the top of the curtain. Now, and you thread the, throat, the rope through the eyelet in the curtain from the outside to the inside and gently pull on it whilst bunching up the corners. And don't pull on this too hard because you can actually tear the hood if you yank on it. So you just want to gently feed it through and guide the, the, um, the corner of the canvas up so it makes a nice rounded edge. So the next thing to do is then take the rope and thread it through the eyelet in the side curtain. You then wrap it around the bar and secure it to the rope hook. Okay. You then tuck the side flaps inside the pocket on the side of the hood and secure the buckle into the little clasp on the side. Now we'll just show you that again on the other side. So gently pull the rope through. And you thread the rope through the eyelet. around the bar, behind it, through the eyelet in the side curtain, back around the bar, and then down to the rope hook. And again, just gently tension it and tie it in place. down and tuck into the side flap, pull the webbing through the little slot and secure in the buckle. Okay. So the last thing to do is to fit the lower curtain rope. So you'll find there's a loop on one end which hooks onto the little metal hook on the inside of the flap on the side of the hood. And you just gently want to feed the rope through to get tension on it whilst hooking it onto the rope hooks underneath.
hook it, loop it around the hook on the other side. And again, tie onto the rope hook on the underside. So the end of the rope up out of the way. And there we go, that's your canvas hood fitted. So as canvas is a natural product, it does have a tendency to shrink slightly. Um, so once you've got your hood fitted over the first couple of weeks, we advise if you can get it wet and allow it to dry out naturally, that will help the hood to shrink and that'll allow it to shrink to the vehicle. So some of this slight bagginess, which is intentional um, when it's made, will pull out and you'll get a much better fitting hood. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, is that you do need to keep it tensioned throughout this whole process. So as we showed you in the video, tensioning the straps in the front of the hood and at the rear um, is really important to check that every now and again, just to make sure um, that you have got proper tension all the way around. Um, if you roll up the rear curtain for any length of time, um, it's best to periodically pull it down and retension it, particularly if it gets wet. Um, you don't want to leave it rolled up to dry um, during you know, warmer times of the year, um, as it could have a tendency to shrink while it's rolled up. So keep that in mind, um, but let's say with a little bit of care and ten attention, hood should last you plenty of time. Um, in terms of treatment, you can use any canvas waterproofing products such as um, Nick Wax or Fab Seal. Once a year is usually sufficient, um, just a, a coat of that, just to help um, reinstate the waterproofing. And in terms of cleaning the hood, um, just very, very mild detergent or warm water and a soft brush. Um, don't pressure wash it or use any, any harsh detergents or don't, you know, you don't want to be scrubbing at it with stiff brushes or anything. So yeah, mild detergents, a little bit of warm water, soft brush or a cloth um, should be all you need to clean it up.